definitely more bubblicious than previous <laughs> bubbles. So here at Big Sky right now with George. Hello. And uh, we are on the Lewis and Clark lift. And there hasn't been any media coverage about it. No press releases. Not that I'm aware But low key, this lift has been upgraded since the last time we were here. So this lift used to have bubbles on half of its chairs for whatever reason. And the, the bubbles were like these clear like Spanish peaks, like branded bubbles, because this area. You're, some, you're, oh, I was just say there are some subpar bubbles. Yeah, George, George and I did not feel they were up to the same standards as the other bubbles, but they've now been upgraded with the signature Big Sky Blue bubble bubbles. So they no longer have the Spanish Peaks logos on them. Um, the this chair used to be part of Spanish Peaks, which was uh, then bought by Big Sky. It was its own private club, but now it has been absorbed into the monster, which is Big Sky Resort. Um, so what is the difference with this lift? Um, so the good news is now you have an 100% chance of getting on a bubble chair if you get on this lift. All bubbles. Uh, previously, if you got on, I think it was the odd number chairs, I don't even know if there was that much of an order to it. Sometimes it was, it it like was every was, other chair, I believe. Sometimes like, it felt like there were even like two, and then there'd be a bubble, and then there'd be two bubbles. But anyway, you basically didn't have the chance to get on a bubble every single uh, chairlift. So if you got there and there was like a non-bubble lift coming along, um, it was uh, just your luck of the draw. But now you can get on a bubble every single lift. So oh, this uh, bubble talk has me wanted to take yeah, advantage so of the Yeah, so now we can uh, put down the bubble and experience it for ourselves. Okay. Which this is, is uh, fun. Yeah. Very fun. Definitely more bubblicious than previous <laughs> bubbles. I like that. Um, but yeah, so the thing about this chair is uh, no, no one really ever rides it. Uh, we've never had to wait in a line for this chair, and last time we were here, we were, I think, the only people on this entire side of the mountain. Yeah. Um, so from a practical standpoint, it's pretty nice to be able to get on a bubble pretty much any time you get on uh, this chair, but like previously, if you, if you really wanted to, you could just wait a couple chairs and then get a bubble um, if you really just waited, because there's, there's never anyone behind you. Yeah. Um, so from a practicality standpoint, this probably doesn't make a huge difference to, to people visiting Big Sky. That, that probably explains why Big Sky didn't make a big deal out of it. Yeah. Um, that's probably why you didn't hear about it in the headlines. Um, and that's probably why if you're not trying to review this resort like George and I, you'll probably, there's a pretty good chance you'll never even make it over here. Um, like it does take some effort to actually make your way to this area. Um, but it is nice to have these blue bubbles um, to be able to uh, ride on a bubble chair and have our friends who are up there also ride on a bubble chair. Yeah. Um, so there's five of us since it's, it's a quad, we just split up. So no one had to... No one uh, suffers the bad Exactly, chair. exactly. Well, so It is worth noting that these bubble chairs do not have heated seats, while some of the other bubble chairs at Big Sky seem to, at least sometimes, have heated seats. Yeah. Well, we, we can't get everything. It's so. true. Yeah, but definite bubular improvement. Yes. Um, but yeah, just wanted to update you guys on this quick little change that no one else seems to have covered. Um, George, you have any final thoughts on this? Pro bubble. Uh, they should have bubbles everywhere. There you have it. Well, uh, next time you come to Big Sky, um, you should come check out the Lewis and Clark lift. You'll have it all to yourself and you'll have an 100% chance of riding on a bubble.